What's our current status? Bravo sector has been conquered by the enemy. U.S. forces have the edge. Need to more uh, but yeah, guys, uh, let's get started. So, with this video, I want to make the video talking about my dream battle, right? And what I want my dream battle to have to be successful. Um, I think over time, Battlefield 2042 as a game has been fairly successful. Um, it's made a great combat, it's made a great, uh, you know, change and content drop and, uh, you know, the game mechanics and all that a lot of people had issues with and the bugs as well that they had to fix over time. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, this game's been out for two years now, which is crazy. And, um, I think it's safe to talk about the next Battlefield game now. Uh, I know this game has one last season. I think it's just, I think it's one last season. Um, and uh yeah i think after the next season uh it's gonna be all hands on deck uh for the next battlefield game for the the devs at a uh, battle at, at the uh at the ea studio so nonetheless let's get started on my wish list um i'm excited to talk about this with you guys so my next battlefield game i want it to take place in the near future i'll say the year 2050 uh primarily set in japan right why do i say japan um well i guess personally me i'm a big japan fan and uh i think a lot of people in this world are um mainly due to i think maybe anime which is one of my reasons but also genuinely japan is just beautiful guys um i think not even just in battlefield like just video games over time like games that were set in japan uh that kind of has like a japanese either feeling or setting i'll say like cyberpunk 2077 7 it looks beautiful guys um and uh i think with the next battlefield title the engine that is going to be running on um i think that um it should totally be set in japan the graphics will look beautiful the settings will look beautiful i just think about shibuya uh, tokyo um just for example and uh i just get the shepherds just thinking about it just how many incredible moments could be made in a battlefield setting in japan right uh the amount of destruction uh the amount of just great skyscrapers as well what the nature as well in japan right uh i think japan as a whole should definitely be uh where the next battlefield game should be in my opinion um and in terms of the story i think that uh the story should take place uh, like I said, in Japan, uh, the character should be a 18 or 19 year old uh, Japanese uh, high school student or somebody that's fresh out of high school, right? That has no plans to go to college and instead he wants to go uh, to the military, right? Uh, and um, as he's joining the military, he has three other friends that's joining him as well in the military uh, that are his friends from high school. And uh, throughout the story, um, you kind of get to see their friendship and how much they've grown up and uh, what led them to going into the military. You get to get uh, different backstories from each character as well. And uh, I just think about all the just creative possibilities that DICE can just create uh, with this setting in this type of story. Um, and uh, yeah, throughout the story, you also uh, develop great bonding, great friendships and go through different settings across the world and different continents and uh different places around the world like the usa you get to visit russia you get to visit germany uh so i think just primarily visiting um different places around uh in the story would be pretty awesome um so yeah that all makes sense that's where i feel like the story should be in the factions that's going to be included into the story um also in multiplayer i would say is China, Russia, Germany, America, and France. Um, and what are they all battling over? This Dominion. Like Dominion over each other. Um, over power and land. And uh, just taking over the continent, right? Uh, but the unique part about the story I would love is Japan and USA. Um teaming together to uh end all of this chaos um 
and uh, I think that will also kind of, you know, I would say, clear up some of the unfortunate backlash, not backlash, but the history that um, Japan and uh, the USA has together. I know we all fought in World War II, um, and that war was not pretty one bit. Um, and I think that, um, that, that would definitely set the story straight. And that will also, um, you know, just make people worldwide just get along with one another, um, in my opinion. So, yeah, uh, I think that, uh, Japan and the USA should totally, um, get together, um, and just, uh, uh just end the madness that's going on in the world. So, uh, but yeah, if that makes sense, that's the setting and the story I would love for this game to be set in. Um, uh, next, we're going to talk about the bread and butter of this franchise the multiplayer uh i know battlefield was never really known for its story per se but the multiplayer it has got to be perfect this next title uh dice has not been having the best track record when it comes to releases and games uh, and i think that um going into this next title they need to look at their track history and the history of releasing these titles that are unfinished that have potential but then get better down the line. I think the Battlefield community is kind of irritated of that. And I'm included in that as well. Um, because I've been playing this game since 2008. Um, and, um, and, I, and, I, and I think that it will only be justice to uh, do this franchise right by uh, releasing a finished product, right? Uh, but other than that, in the multiplayer, uh, I think that different game modes like conquest rush team deathmatch even deathmatch should make a comeback um uh, games modes like breakthrough um they need to make a return because uh i feel like battlefield 2042 uh set a great example of how uh conquest and breakthrough should be um uh, oh gosh whoa, 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 what are you doing um and yeah i think that um overall um uh, these game modes are uh, very popular uh they bring a lot of squads together a lot of great moments as well um uh, and uh i think that what's track that that tracks like majority of battlefield fans is those big scale game modes like conquest and breakthrough uh in smaller game modes as well like team deathmatch you got rush as well rush can be big as well um with the with tons of players and just a, a bigger scale um uh, and uh yeah i think they should definitely return these game modes um and uh i think that they should also bring back game modes like chain link domination gunmaster uh capture the flag um and one of my personal favorite game modes carrier assault um uh, carrier assault was a game mode that was kind of like breakthrough but the difference is, was that um, Carrier Assault was mainly about making sure that you protect the boat uh, that was on uh, your team or attacking the boat on the enemy team. Um, and then you have a specific time where you have to, uh, you know, fight for conquest flags. And then at the end of the round, you get to go to where the uh, flags are. Like, oh, guys, guys, it's, it's such a great game mode. Yeah. Uh, I'm try. I'm gonna try to like record some gameplay of Chainlink and uh, and Carrier Assault on this channel uh, soon. So I think that uh, primarily, uh, not even primarily. I just I just think they should just bring it back. It was such a fun game mode because um, it was basically a mixture of Rush and Conquest, which is a Battlefield gamer's dream come true. Um, but yeah, guys, on to the next topic. Uh, what are the things they need to include to make this multiplayer perfect? I think that uh, over time with the Battlefield games that have been releasing, the maps have been great actually. Um, I think every Battlefield game has really good maps, but of course you have maps that aren't that good. Um, and I think games that set the perfect example for maps uh, in gameplay is probably Battlefield 3, uh battlefield 4 and bad company 2 um and battlefield 1 i love battlefield 1's maps as well battlefield 5 has some fine maps 
Um, but I think they should definitely refine the map formula like it used to be. Uh, more catered to a... Uh, let me see. Like this map, for example, Redacted. Redacted is a, uh, a neat grinder type of map. Kind of like Operation Metro. Um, and Operation Locker from Battlefield 4. I think that um, these type of maps should definitely... Um, make a return to the game because it brings a great mixture of infantry big scale conquest as well um i miss maps like uh scene crossing that was a great infantry map uh that involved russian conquest and team deathmatch uh, from like battlefield 3 and a big scale map i uh, really love in battlefield is probably Golma brush i love that map a lot and um i love maps like uh, Strike at Karkin. I love, uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. It wasn't Strike at Karkin. It was, well, it was Strike at Karkin, but there was also a map called, um, let me see. Uh, Wake Island. Wake Island was super awesome, guys. I don't know why that took me that long to figure that out. Uh, I didn't really play Wake Island, like, when it first came out, like, in the older Battlefield titles. I mainly played it, um, let me see. In Battlefield 3 when they re-released it. Um, and I didn't know they re-released it. Um, and um, that's when I was, um, you know, kind of just fairly new to like the older Battlefield games. I didn't really know that. Um, that game mode was... Uh, it, I, I didn't know that map was in the game. So, uh, And uh, yeah, I, I really do miss that map. And uh, yeah, I think just bringing back a mixture of infantry and uh, big scale conquest maps and uh, rush maps would definitely be a great return feature to the Battlefield franchise, right? And just think about how all of this will look in Japan, guys. Like, uh, you know, Japan withholds a lot of like great, great towns, uh, you know, and I just think about all the smaller pockets of Japan as well um, that can hold great team deathmatch uh, maps, great rush maps. Uh, great creative game mode maps, um, you know, so, and, um, speaking of other game modes and, uh, creative game modes, I would love to talk about, ooh, oh, sick I, I would love to talk about, um, a section that I created personally, and it's called creative game modes. Um, Battlefield 2042 implemented this, actually. Uh, when the game first started, they had a game mode that was similar to this show called Squid Games. Uh, I'm not really too knowledgeable about the show. Um, I only saw like one episode of the show. I was mainly a fan of anime and I still am. Uh, but I do know in Squid Games, they do have a game that's kind of like red light, green light, go. And um, if you move uh, when the red light is, appears, you get shot and killed. Uh, and of course you go when the green light says go, but if you move, you get shot. Uh, when the red light is uh, appeared so uh if you guys get it that was that was one of the creative game modes that battlefield 2042 had when it first started um and uh also uh i think that they should bring back um not even bring back i think they should try to um kind of make a game mode where you can create your own maps um I think that um, considering where we are in the gaming industry, making maps are great. Some developers don't make the best maps, let's just be real, uh, in their games. And Battlefield has had their fair share of bad maps. Um, and I think that it's kind of the community's turn to find their own way to stay engaged in the game. And I think one of the uh big ideas that i had for this game would possibly be um creating your own map um i think that would definitely give a lot of creative freedom uh to the community and keep the community engaged and even bring in newcomers into the franchise as well um and uh that would definitely keep me engaged personally because i love creating my own maps um and um, I think that um, they shouldn't even make it a mod. They should make it just a standard where you can create your own map. So uh, I think creating your own maps um, the way you want, the way you want them to uh, flow, the type of uh, settings uh, that you want to have, kind of like create your own server. Uh, 
in the previous Battlefield games, that should definitely return as well. Um, and uh, yeah, I think overall, they should definitely implement a system where you can create your own maps. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that should definitely be added into the game, like, n no debate. Um, and uh, sure, they can return the Battle Pass, the Battle Pass would be great. I think the Battle Pass has done a fine job in Battlefield 2042. I never was a big fan of it, in my personal opinion. Um, it it's always cool just unlocking the weapons that are included for free in the Battle Pass, so I don't have to pay for anything else. Um, and just, you know, unlocking and grinding for, like, skins that are in the Battle Pass that people do want to unlock. I think that's good, too. But, uh, yeah, they should return the Battle Pass. The Battle Pass is fine. Um, and they should just continuously drop free content in this game, too, right? Um, I think, um, one of the reasons Battlefield 2042 is very popular is because the content's free. Um, and, uh, you know, the type of setting the game is in. Um, wait, is my surprise all? Oh, no, it's not. Uh, but yeah, I, um, think that they should definitely, um, keep the free content coming in. Um, I think people are tired of paid DLCs. At one point, buying paid DLCs were totally worth it in the Battlefield franchise. Um, around like Battlefield like, 3 and Battlefield 4 time. Um, that's when paid DLC was totally worth it. Um, but now, um, with subscription based games and, uh, you know, different games charging for things that are kind of pointless, I think that, uh, you know, giving the community free things will keep people engaged. Uh, so, and uh, yeah, I think they should definitely um, focus on that. And I believe that they will have a very successful game. Um, so that's all I have for you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I uh, hope Dice looks at this video uh, for future reference for the next Battlefield game to really take into consideration this. Um, because I'm excited for the next Battlefield game. I'm excited to see what they're going to bring and uh i'm excited to give you guys content on the game as well um and but other than that hope you guys have a great rest of your day um and uh we're gonna just continue this video here with more battlefield gameplay so take care bye bye Why aren't you guys going this way? I should get these flags. This one's to a bigger scope. I love this scope. Hostile activity at one of our objectives.
Come on. Our plan is effective. We hold more sectors than our enemy. We are assaulting Charlie One. Oh, we won. All US forces 